Here's your daily look at what's true and what's not online. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. I asked Siri about the next thing, but she didn't know. How about you Body? Did Japan declare a state of emergency in August 2024 after nanobots were found in 96 million citizens? No, that's not true. A state of emergency in Japan would be major news worldwide and yet there have been no stories about it. The news came from a website with a reputation for making things up. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. The journal article the website said is the evidence for bots in COVID-19 vaccines has been described by experts as amateurish gibberish, published in something that was not a real journal, by authors that do not appear to have any legitimate expertise in the field. Remember, always fact check before sharing sensational news stories. Don't believe everything you read online. What can you tell me about this, body? Are two images of a scantily clad woman genuine old photos of Vice President Kamala Harris, suggesting she was a sex worker in the past? No, that's not true. Harris began her professional career working in California legal offices. Inconsistencies in fingers, shadows and backgrounds in the photos are telltale signs of AI origin. Who knew? The images only appeared online after Harris began her candidacy for U.S. president in the 2024 election, suggesting they were created only recently. Remember, always fact check before sharing images online. Don't believe everything you see. I'm probably not the only one online asking about the next thing. Did Fox News broadcast a segment about online influencer Mr. Beast starting his own online casino, where everyone wins? No, that's not true. The video contained signs of digital manipulation, and an AI detection tool further confirmed that the segment was not authentic. Is that all you know? Or is there more? A Fox News spokesperson denied that the network aired such a segment. Lead Stories found no traces of the video on the channel's website. Remember, not everything you see online is real. Always double check before sharing sensational news stories. Can you explain this for me? Does a photograph shared to X in August 2024 genuinely show Pope Francis wearing a rainbow scarf? No, that's not true. One digital forensics website concluded that the photograph was 99.9% .9 likely to contain AI-generated or deepfake content. Another indicated the photo was 96% artificial. You're so good at research. The image also contained several artifacts like weird fingers, inconsistent clothing and odd hair that point to it being AI-generated. Remember, not everything you see online is what it seems. Always question the authenticity of photos before sharing them. Here's something my friend told me, but I'm not sure it is real. Does a video on social media show Boston Red Sox player Jaron Duran receiving a standing ovation upon returning from suspension for calling a fan a homophobic slur? No, that's not true. The video uses old footage from a 2023 game at Fenway Park and does not show the game on August 14, 2024. Do you know more? Local sports reporters in the Boston Globe reported he was cheered when he was at bat but did not report that he received a standing ovation, which would have been news had it happened. Remember, always verify the date and location of videos before sharing. Don't strike out with misinformation. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.